Hey, I'll find somewhere to put you. Hang on. Hang on. Because what we are doing today, Thursday the 21st, is putting my roof back, putting my roof on. So I'll put you up here. If I start swearing too much, I'll have to stop you. So hopefully you're okay there. And you can see what we're doing. You won't be here long because there's not a lot to see. Stay there. Don't fall. Okay. All right, I got the stick. This is where the F blinding comes. comes in. There we go. Okay. This comes off every year because of the snow. And then every year, I have to put the freaking thing back on again. And I just got crap in my eyeball. And I've got my safety goggles. I've got my safety goggles on. Can you see me? Oh, over here. Oh. It's supposed to rain for days, so I thought I better get something done. Uh. Okay, that's that one done. Okay. Much easier with the ladder, I'm sure, but the ladder won't fit in here, so. Okay, I got clamps. I got clamps on everything, so. Anyway, I'll come back to you when I'm done, but I will show you a few other things while we're out here. Come on. <sighs> Remember, I bought those hooks to hang my baskets on. Well, I changed my mind like we do. Plans change constantly, right? So I took this grid, this grid, from down there in that corner because there's a giant lily outside the fence there where that straw is. There's a giant lily. So if I've got something that I'm trying to grow up a trellis, it's going to get either wrapped around the lily or the lily's going to kill it. So I'd say, well, what I'll do then is I screwed, I use these pipe clamps. Screw, put two on that end down there and one down here. And it holds my four baskets just the right height. This is where debatable about what's going in there, lettuces or whatever. Um, but we were talking about weeds and things on... Oh, there's my Band-Aid I dropped. I'm just glad the dog didn't get it. Sorry, that was a bit gross, wasn't it? I dropped a Band-Aid. Um, we were talking about weeds and stuff on Danny's Live today. And this is... Where are they? I was out here and I'm like, ah, oh, frickin' frat. There they are. Look, little tiny nodules. I'll just go down and pull them out. There's another one right there. Um, mare's tail, already. There we go, mare's tail. And, whoops, and I thought I'd dug all the lilies out of this. This is one of my giant tree lilies. I thought I'd put them, took them all out of here. And they're all coming up again. So I decided to take that A-frame off and just make a single frame and to grow a squash up. So I've got an extra frame there. Dirtle of my hands, I hate wearing clubs. So anyway, I gotta get some of this roof put on before the rain comes, so I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'll stand you up here. I just hope I don't knock my camera down. There, can you see me? Well, you can't see me because I'm behind the camera. But stick you in a plant. How's that? There we go. Good enough. Good and togging. Hey. Here's where the effing and blinding comes in. Uh, so, 
I had to keep going round and round and round and around and around and around fixing the clamps until I get it straight and then I'll put some temporary staples in it. Well, we got most of it done. The sides get um, slats of wood, so wood like this. Not quite as thick as that, but goes over top of this for it. Over top of this for extra support, and then that's all going to get tucked in. The door still needs fixing. Um, what else? Yeah, that's about it for today. Okay, I'm going in the house. It is like 4 o'clock on Thursday night. Bye. Morning. It is, hang on, I'll look. Sunday, I know that. I know it's Sunday, the 24th. So this is my agri-land and lots of things are coming up I have, I have a list don't panic i have a list of what everything is but the only thing if i had one thing to say that i don't like about this agri-land root trainer is that this row here has barely got anything coming up so to prick everything out i have to wait either till this one comes up and then push down on the container or i have to get a tiny little stick and poke everything out so i'm gonna have to do that in the next day or two because they're not looking too happy. So, I don't know. But yeah, I've got all my labels made. See, these were all sewn March 19th. I just need to get my list so I know which row is which. Only one of them gets marked with the number one. That one way back there. So then I know those ones are all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's what that is today. Um, I have some other things I need to sort. I've got some more lupins to get sewn. I thought I'd do them... S successional sewings. Everything over there is on the windowsill waiting for some sunshine. It's all doing fine. I haven't killed my celery yet. It's doing really good. I have to find my cucumelon seeds for Freddy's cucumelon challenge. And yeah, that's about it. And then I got to go outside and check on stuff outside. Oh crap, it got hot real fast. Well, I finished the roof. I'm working on the door. Not happy with the front of it, but it is a domed roof, so trying to pull something on it dome-shaped is not always the easiest thing. <gasps> Look, my tiny tulips are coming up. Aren't they gorgeous? They survived the squirrel, but something is digging the holes here, so I'll have to go get some pepper or something and throw it on there. Bloody things, I tell you. Happy, happy, Allison. Happy, happy. There's all the trays. They've got, the trays that are they're sitting in have got holes on the bottom, so don't panic. They're not going to flood if it rains. This does get rain through it, not tons, but it does get rain through it. It's a shade cloth, big, huge thing. I'm working on the door right now. Look at all the daffies coming up, though. I'm going to concentrate on daffodils next year. I think I'm done with stupid freaking tulips. Even the ones in pots aren't happy. Anyway, I'm working on my door. So I'm taking the door apart. It's roasting out here. Put you over here, shall I? Can you see me? I gotta take all the screws out. Um, nope, wrong one, Allison. Nope. Wait a minute. Yep, that's the wrong one. We want this one screwed. Don't do more work than you have to. Take out the part you're cutting, not the rest. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now, and I'll see you later. Bye. In my coat. So, I'm done. I'm pooped. Got lots more to do. Still got all this side of the greenhouse to finish. I fixed 90% of my door, but I'm pooped. Like I said, door's on. Got to fix the top part and screw across the battings that go across there to hold down the roof. I got to get rid of all my footprints. I've got to clean up all of the mare's tail that's popping up all of a sudden because that's what mare's tail does. I washed all those trays out there. I put, like showed you all the seedlings up in the rafters. We'll call it the rafter space, rafter seedlings. I took all my plumbing stuff out and it's got to get all clean, but I'm going in for a break. This is just recycling. So yeah, that was, that was all I did today. <laughs> oh, here's my peas. Some of them are really big, some of them not so much. But Nick, your peas are doing great. Look at them. Those are the ones in the middle. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous. So they're going to go out in the yard. Anyway, have a great night. It's still Sunday night and I'm going in. I'm knackered. 
Good morning. It is not blue skies and warm. Um, potatoes coming up. These ones were done. Is it a bug? It's a bug. How rude. Not a bug anymore. Um, I forget, but I've got it written down somewhere, so I'll put it on the screen. That one's doing nothing. These ones are all coming up. These are both under the cupboard. Actually, all three of these are under the cupboard. But I'm going to sow some of these ones because they've got nice chits. And what the hell, eh? Let's get them outside. They're not going to do any better inside. Um, what else was I doing today? The These are some more lupins. It's funny, as I was soaking them in water. I don't think you can see that. Um, soaking them in water and they're chitting in the water. So I better thought I better get them in the ground. So I'll put these inside. And then I'm going to try and get my peas out today. So it's a pea day. <laughs> Potatoes and peas. My God, it's freezing out here. So nice yesterday. Um, so there's the peas, three, three on each side. These are the only ones that actually grew enough to put outside. So hopefully they'll be okay. <gasps> Beautiful root systems, which I didn't show you. Uh, yeah, I'm just going in. It's cold. I'm sorry. It's just too cold. Brr. This is what um, hyacinths do if you leave them outside and don't take them up and bring them in the house. They spread out. They're not quite the bunchy things there are before, but look, more holes. Holes, holes everywhere. Try and put my camera out, see if I can catch anything, and I've got to get this done. Prune it, but I'm just too cold. I'm sorry. It's freezing. Going in the house. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. What else did I need to do? What have I got in my pocket? Never mind. Um, did I need these things? I uh, can't remember now. Got my labels, right? Nope, left my labels. Oh, I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on, screwed up, screwed out. There, I'll put you there for a sec. Um, oh, get a chair. Everything's in the way because it's seed sowing time again, so... See if we can point you up a bit better. There, how's that? So it's cucumelon time. We're gonna do Freddy's cucumelon challenge. So cucumelon grow along 2024. I'm gonna put them in my root trainers. Uh oh, look like I've dropped a seed somewhere. Who hasn't dropped a seed and something and then get something come up and go, what the heck was that? That's me. So I'm doing lots of them. I can give some away. If too many come up, <laughs> if too many come up. I sowed some tiny Tim tomatoes today as well because my daughter-in-law wants tomatoes for her patio. So I'll put two in each, see if they all come up. Like I said, if they all come up, they all come up. There's, oops, that's got three. Let's see if I can grab one. There we go. Um, we can always give seeds away to people, hopefully. There we go. So 14 cucumelons done. Gerald likes cucumelons. I don't like them, but he likes them. He just picks them right off the vine. So that's what we're doing. So there, it is March 20 something. Hang on, I'll tell you. March 26th today, Tuesday. It is cold outside. It's seven degrees and it was pouring rain earlier, but it's spring. So that's it. Today's seeds were Tiny Tim's. Irrelevant to this, but Tiny Tim's and Cukey Melons for Freddy's Cukey Melon Challenge. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, so I finished 90%. I got to bring my screwdriver out and fix that. And I want to get something to put across here. Something arty because it looks gross. Anyway, we're all done. I have to start sewing stuff in here and I've got to put some liners in here. Right? Liners, liners, and there all the seeds are up there. Doing very well. Quite happy. Looks like we've got fungus mats in them. <laughs> oh, Lord. What are you going to do? Anyway, I have to get some stuff moved around. And get some stuff put out. Yep, that's today's job. It's stopped raining for five minutes, so we'll get some work done, hopefully. Can you see now why they call it a tree? <laughs> oh my freaking ant, that is huge. Anyway, it's getting a new bed because I don't want it in this one. This one's gonna be squash. So I'd probably move it over here to the lily bed where all the lilies are invading everywhere, look. 
They're just everywhere. So I gotta find a nice spot for it. Uh, show you later. That hole is me. I was putting something in there or pulling something out. Probably by, uh, mare's tail. Anyway, all the hyacinths are coming out. And yes, Allison is going to prune the hydrangeas today. Anyway, that's what we're doing right this minute. I'm gonna show you. Oh, sorry, that's the sun blinding you. Um, these trainers, they're. No, oops, sorry, dead bug. Nothing fancy, you know. You can see the roots come out of the bottom, yada, yada, blah, blah. But this is what I like. Watch, let's see. Look at that. Can you see those roots? Okay, then, and I've taken it back inside, but I'll go and get it. If I hurry. Where did I put it? Keep losing things. Come with me. Walk this way, said the comedian as he hunched over. Um... Marty Feldman, I think, did that, didn't he? And Young Frankenstein. Walk this way. Okay, so then, get your bulb planter. And if you look, bulb planter is about the same size as the holes there. So, get your bulb planter, which is not easy to do with one hand. Make a hole, like that. Carefully take out your beans. And, plunk. Perfect. Anyway, I'll get the rest of them done. You don't need to watch me do them all. So they're gonna go on this side. These are Nanu and Grinches. These ones are from Jem, from Jem in the Garden. Those are her red scarlet be beans. So, whew, it's hot when you're, when you're working, as you all know. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'll get the rest of these in. Sorry about the shadow. No, I'm not. You know, I don't, I, you, I don't apologize for the shadow because that means Mother Nature's shining down on me. Um, look at this, Nicholas. Oh my God, I couldn't leave it in the package, in the pot anymore because the roots were coming out the bottom. So getting my hands in the dirt just for you. I'm gonna put this baby right here. Holy, that's gorgeous. There we go. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm terrible at filming, I'm sorry. Getting better, but not that good yet. No Steven Spielberg's in this, in this yard. Okay, there we go. And because it's an allium, shouldn't get bothered by moles, she says, hopefully. Anyway, what else did I do? I'm not finished yet, so I'm like 12.30, 1 o'clock. But that's why I miss all the lives, is because when it's nice out, I'm usually outside when you guys are all cozying down for the night. Put some broad beans in here, because I figured they'd be safer in here. Um, leveled out most of this and stepped on it, as usual. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, that's level. This one's all level. Gotta get some things in those pots. Those the ugh, these beans up here need to come out too and go in. These are my those are from Nanu and Grinch and Fluffy. And these ones here are the Greek Gigantes ones and not one of them's freaking come up yet. I'm never buying seeds off the internet again, I swear to god. I'm sick of being ripped off by people. Um, and I don't, I'll, I'm all, this is why I'm always afraid when I send seeds to people is because what if I send you something and it doesn't grow? Then I feel like a shit, right? So, uh, anyway, enough, enough whining about Allison and her crappy seeds. So I'll go and get those other broad beans put in and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, what else did we get done? Ooh, my kales are looking a bit uh, wet, so I thought I'd better bring them outside for some sunshine. And then, of course, the sunshine went away. But I'm doing my beets today. I multi sow my beets. Um, I know they've got multi sown built in, but so these are from West Coast Seeds, and these were from Trish and Allie and Leo, the lovely Leo. So I'm getting these. These are a mixed breed. I've never had white beets before, so that should be very cool. But they're a mixed beet variety. So I'll get these in today. What else did I do? Emptied out a few pots that were. Oh, look at this. I'm so excited. A rescue tulip. Rescue tulips opening. This is one of the ones I pulled up out of the ground before the you know what's could eat them. Calendula's all coming up. Pots are looking great. They're getting all manner of things in them. Raspberries. These are my raspberries. This one doesn't look like it's getting any buds on it, but I'll leave it for another day or two. I trimmed the hydrangeas. My golden raspberries are coming up. These are all flowers. I think they're poppies and calendulas. My apple trees got blossoms. 
I got all my peas put in. Um, what else? Everything's starting to look like a garden and not like a sludge bath with dead things in it. So, yeah, so that's what I did today. I'll show you my list because I never get my list done. I don't know about you, but I make a list and it's always half the things on the list and then 10 other things that weren't even on the list. And I can't find my chalk, so I can't use my chalkboard. Um, so what did I do? Pruned my la oh, sorry, pruned my lavender, pruned my hydrangea. Um, I've got to still get the thing up to fix the cage. I've got the pots for the lettuce. I just haven't done them yet. Strawberries I'm going to do, but I've got to fill the baskets up first. Testing hoses is getting, Gerald's got to bring out the other big hose to fill it. And the soaker hose. So did that. Uh, did the peas. Um, sold beets. Checked on everything else. Everything's looking good. Oh, got the broad beans in. Thank you, Jem. Thank you, Nanu, Grinch and Fluffy. And the uh, lovely and ever popular Vince. I got to do some <laughs> winter sewing. I got to do something with my winter sewing because it's on mental. Let's see if I can get you in here. These are my delphiniums. So they're going to have to come out pretty quick because look at this. They are growing up the side of the pot. So I'm probably going to have to open this up. I might just take the lids off. Because I don't want everything getting moldy in there because they're quite moist. Yeah, other than that, um, sunflowers are all coming up. Well, most of them are. Those are all teddy bear sunflowers over there, the little tiny ones. I love little teddy bear sunflowers. Uh, carrots are doing whatever they're doing. These strawberries have all got to get put out. Some of my poppies are coming up. Some aren't. Marigolds are all coming up. Some aren't. It's gardening for you. Anyway, yeah. Okay, I'm going in now. It is, oh, I don't know what time it is, three o'clock, something like that. And I'm tired, and it's uh, pooping work when you're bending over and doing stuff all the time. So, yeah, i got to figure out if I'm going to leave the soaker hose where it is. <gasps> and there's a bee on my daffodil, but by the time I run over there, he'll be gone. Have a great night. Happy Easter. Bye. <clears throat> well, I wore myself out. It's a gorgeous day. Look. <sighs> Got quite warm out there, actually. I am... Um, just want to say thanks for everybody that hangs around, watches and comments. And uh, as usual, there's some people in the notes. I'll get out from under my face, eh? There's some, <laughs> get out of my face. There's some uh, notes for people that you might want to go and check out and see some new faces. Uh, there's some old faces that I've mentioned for other reasons and specifics. And everybody have a great Easter. I'll try, har har, and get this posted this weekend. But it usually takes me a day and a half just to get it uploaded. So uh, I'll see if I can do it at my daughter's. Have a great Easter. Bye. Thanks.